Tina and I couldn't agree more. We disagree about, about a lot of things, but we agree a college degree is worth it now more than ever. Take a look at this. The U.S. unemployment rate has hovered around 9% over the past couple of years, right? We know that. If you break down the unemployment rate by education level, you can see the more education you have, the less likely you are to be unemployed. O only a high school diploma, that's 10.3% unemployment. But if wow. you have a bachelor's degree, it falls, I think these are numbers for last year, about 5.4%. Now, if you break down the median weekly earnings by education level, this is another trend. If you only have a high school diploma, you're going to make an average of $626 a week. A college degree jumps that number up to $1,038. It's a dramatic difference. Now, college is expensive. This is where the is it worth it part comes in. People say, right. well, hey, you know, is it worth it if I'm going to have all of this debt? Um, you know, students have tens of thousands of dollars in debt, uh, but that means it's very important to be smart about how you're going to pay for college, save for college. Which it means picking a school you can afford. Private universities now cost $25,000 a year, <clears> making <throat> your total tab for your education over $100,000. Uh, no. Usually means student loans and lots of debt once you graduate. So one rule of thumb, don't graduate with debt that exceeds the annual salary of your first job. And that means you need to be strategic about what you're going to pick for right. your, your degree. Uh, many state schools offer an education, by the way, just as good as private schools from a fraction of the price. Check them out. And also, a lot of schools are starting three-year programs. Right. It's tougher, but a three-year program will save you a whole year of tuition. But you have to choose what you study. Christina and I both have liberal arts degrees, and while we're glad we have them, Neither of us would encourage someone to follow in our, in our footsteps without a very clear path as to what you're going to do with that degree. It could mean getting another degree afterwards. And you need to be balanced. You've heard a lot about STEM, uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. That's that acronym. Um, and we think, by the way, that STEM should be balanced off by, with a healthy dose of liberal sure. arts, by the way. But the top ten majors with the highest median earnings are all STEM jobs. Compare that to the median income of, of say, um, counseling psychology, only $29,000 a year. Petroleum engineering, that's $87,000 a year. I mean, they ah. just don't pay that much. So choose a school that you can afford, study a subject with high potential earnings,